Hey there, it's the English Picker here. Uh, this video has been on my mind for a while and recent events on eBay have, have triggered me to do a video rant video about it. I had to make myself an especially nice cu cup of hot tea. Otherwise I think I'd lose my rag. Um, I'm quite frankly getting pissed off with eBay at the moment. I thought it was a necessary evil and I didn't mind some things but some of their policies now are really starting to piss me off. Um, for a while now I've been experimenting using um, doing listings and offering free shipping. Uh, lots of people said it's a good thing to do because your items get uh, preferential treatment by eBay um, because they're trying to rival Amazon and um, obviously Amazon do a lot of free shipping and for customers it, it it's appealing even though the cost of the shipping is added into the, the price of the item it still fools them into thinking they're getting something they're not but the problem lies when you offer free shipping and you get a return now returns they're unfortunately part of selling on eBay um, I never used to get returns unless I made a mistake and did something wrong or something broke or something got lost and I never used to have to deal with them but in the last six months to a year this whole culture of oh I'll buy something and if I don't like it I'll send it back has developed and it's really dangerous I think it's brought on by I know a lot of people who shop online clothing shopping and if they're not quite sure what size they'll get both sizes and then they'll send the size that doesn't fit back because the company offers free returns and free shipping on the returns and it's little things like that which have put this mentality into people's minds and it's really dangerous especially for small sellers because people treat me on eBay like I'm a multinational big company that I can absorb the cost of free shipping like it's nothing so to explain the reason why we've got this here in front of you is I'll tell you a tale of what's happened recently now it may seem petty and small but it's just a, um, an example of a lot of things like this which has happened lately and really just slowly over time pissed me off so in front of us here we've got an Isle of Man one pound silver proof coin perfect you know the decent coin there's uh, let's just whip it out here it comes with a certificate of authenticity you'll see these in a previous video I bought at auction and uh, I had them for sale online uh, 11 99 with free shipping I was gonna put 9 99 and then charge 1 99 for postage now that's another thing eBay now has started charging 10% on your postage so 10% commission charge on your postage which I really not sure that's legal because then if you charge 10% more for postage they don't really like it so what are you supposed to do you're supposed to make a loss anyway that's a topic for another video uh, I had one of these coins for sale I'll just show you a close up view I had one of these coins for sale and it sold and it went to a customer in the Isle of Man perfectly fine and whatnot. but because of uh, shipping if something's over 25 millimeters thick it has to be classed as a parcel a small parcel so the cheapest I could ship this was actually two pound sixty not the 199 I'd previously thought it might be but hey ho one pound um, you know sort of it was going to be about one pound more than I thought because it was 169 and instead it was um, two pound sixty so I absorbed the cost into the item so roughly after fees I was making about seven pounds something like that now the item arrived and in the listing I took a photo of both sides including this side here and as you can see there is two spots of rainbow toning and I also in bold capital letters noted in the description that there was toning on the reverse please see photos for further details so the item arrived and several days passed and I got uh, a message saying hi the um, I got the coin but I thought it was perfect 
and uh, the toning is not uh, not to my taste and then the customer asked if they could return it but also the customer then wanted to uh, another Isle of Man coin I've got wanted to swap it for that so send it back they were willing to pay the postage back but then for them me to post it back out to them for free and of course that's you know crazy and then when I said no to that I also said and you know if you are returning it unfortunately if I was to refund so it went on then to could they just get a refund so I said yeah sure post it back to me you pay the postage back as per eBay standard policies but when you post it back to me you know obviously I said it was free, it said on the listing it was free shipping but you know postage isn't free there is a cost involved uh, it cost me £2.60 I've got the proof of it that it cost me £2.60 and I'll be du deducting that from the amount now I know some sellers off, um, charge a restocking fee if there's nothing actually wrong with the item um, and you it's it's not not match description then you know people also do that which I didn't so anyway they never got back to me and they've just opened a case against me saying item not as described uh, you know I want a refund now it is as described it's there was photos of both sides there was photos of the toning there was notes in the description but this stupid buyer just did obviously just saw the picture of that side oh I know I'll bid and there's nothing I can do about it. There is absolutely nothing I can do about it. Because if I risk um, trying to fight against it, I risk getting a negative. And so what I'm going to have to do is they're, they're going to post it back to me. Obviously, they're going to have to pay shipping, which they don't seem to have been doing in the first place. And then I'm going to have to refund them the whole amount and then lose out on the... Um, the money I paid to post it out in the first place, which I know is £2.60, but still, I've gone to all that effort, all the time to reply to this stuff, and also to lose £2.60. Uh, it's just... I don't see how eBay can let this happen, because it's going to mean that sellers are going to go elsewhere, and only the big buyers and sellers are going to stay there, because... I know you've got to think of the customer, but this is an instance where the customer's wrong. I've done everything to cover myself on this, and I've got, I haven't got a leg to stand on. So, yeah, that's what I mean. What do you, all you guys think? Put in the comments what you think. I mean, I'm just going to have to refund this person, and then I'm just going to block them because these this keeps happening to me this has happened to me several times so from this point on I'm not going to offer free shipping I don't care if my stuff gets lower in the listings just to avoid losing this money I must have lost uh, I don't know over 40 50 pounds worth of postage by this happening and it keeps happening so yeah just interested to what all you lot think about this and eBay's current dealings with offering free postage and buyers actually thinking that somehow they've got to deal with the post office which means it is free so yeah rant over and uh, back to the tea so thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe and i'll see you all soon